Oh, hi. Um, hey, today I'm going to show you, you know, because a lot of you do not have um, a tremendous amount of experience using Confer Zoom and Canvas at the same time. How do I create that link for my students to click on so that they show up in my online classroom? That's what today is dedicated to, and I, I hope you follow me. So what we're going to do today is, well, here's my History 17B class, and I'm going to create a link for a future meeting using Confer Zoom. So let's do it. So over here, um, I'm going to click on, well, you guessed it, Confer Zoom. So I'll give that a click. Off it goes. <laughs> and there's this thing here called Schedule. Uh, schedule is pretty cool. It's what you want to do. Um, we're not teaching in the face-to-face um, um, -face anymore. Now we're kind of being forced to use the online version. Um, you know, a great time to hold a, a, an online session then would be the time you would normally have class anyway. So let's go ahead and schedule that. <sighs> okay, a new uh, event is going to come up. Make sure that this stuff is right, that you have the correct classroom. Um, that you have the correct time zone. Uh, that's important. That you're going to do just a single, you know, just what you're going to do for now. Uh, the drop-down date is important because right now it's showing uh, Sunday uh, when I actually want to do tomorrow. So I'll change the date till tomorrow. Uh, the time that this class occurs is at 11.30 a.m. So i got to kind of move this back a bit. Uh, to 1130. Oops. Come on. There we go. And to AM. Um, I only want to go for maybe one hour. So reduce this down. Uh, it's hosted by me, the instructor, and it's a Zoom meeting. And I'm going to save. Save, save, save. Uh, and it shows up like this. Now, this is the important part, and you have to kind of follow along here. Not too terribly difficult, but it's not intuitive either. So to clear up the intuitive mess, uh, we're going to make sure that we follow along here pretty closely. So you'll see that on Monday at 316, 1130 to 1230, I want to talk to my History B class. It's an event. So click on this, and you'll see this Prepare button that it's going to start in 20 hours. Um, it's going to last an hour, hosted by me, and here's some details. But the one that you really want is the one in the center, the one with the post. And if you hover it, it says Invite Guest. Should really say Invite Students. Click on that, um, and this screen pops up, Invite Guest to your history. So get a link to copy and paste. All right. Sounds good. I'd like to get that link. Click on it. And then here's this long link right here. Boink. You're going to highlight that whole thing. Hit Control C on your keyboard. You get that copy. Um, and then you click Done. Now, all we've done at this point is to copy the URL. Now we have to paste it somewhere. And that's where your modules come in. We're going to jump over to um, modules. And in this particular class, I don't have any modules um, because I inherited this class, so I teach it differently. But I need to create a module. The module name is going to be uh, week of 316. Awesome. I'm going to add that module. Here it is, week of 316. Now I need to add an event. That's what this plus sign is over here. I'll click on that. And I have assignments, but I don't want to put an assignment. I've already given exam number two. So uh, I'm going to hit the drop down arrow to add something that's called an external URL. External URL. Click on that. Um, click on, and this is where we're going to paste. Boom. Um, and then we're going to give the page a name. And so this page name, I move my mouse out of the way. Page name is going to be, oh, let's see, um, emergency 
meeting or anything like that. You can even get funny. Emergency meeting colon switching to online. And you're going to add the item. And now I have my emergency meeting switching to online. Now note that in Canvas, both of these circles here are are, are not uh, highlighted, so we got to turn that one on and publish it, and we got to turn that one on and publish it. So the, both of those are published. That's great. And for those of you that have used, uh, have not used Canvas, um, you'll notice that um, when I go and go back to the home page, um, there's no link for students to see modules. So you notice that modules here is is eyed out. What you have to do here is go down to settings, real quick. Ah. Uh, once you're on settings, go to navigation. Once you're in navigation, find out where modules is. It's way down here. Bring it up and put it in this portion of things. So we have, I'm going to move the assignments down. Announcements, confer Zoom, modules, and grade. Um, I'll move the announcements down to the bottom. Click save. Always click save, 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 save. Always click that save. Uh, we can go home, and then we'll see that the modules is um, right at the top. It no longer has an eye on it. And if a student were to click on that, uh, the first thing that they would see is week of. There it is, week of 316, emergency meeting, meeting switched to online. This is what it looks like when they click, when students click on this link. Um, they're going to get to the Confer Zoom screen. Uh, they're told that, you know, 20 hours and 16 minutes from now is when this will start. Okay, that's it. That's how you do it. It's a little complicated. Watch it again. You can do it. You have the power. Till next time, see you, faculty.